Please watch over me. I'm ready anytime.
everything ends here. for a little snack. Welcome back. A comprehensive inspection of the Infinite Sundial has just been completed. But we hmm. 
no result from what exactly is hindering the steady supply of field energy the steady supply of field energy previously the infinite sundial was operating in a low energy supply mode due to ins although it managed to provide enough energy for timestamps across the domain it was insufficient to support the research and develop with the upgrade complete and the energy crisis resolved the infinite sundial should now be able to sustain a step however we experience significant fluctuations in the field energy supply whenever we attempt to operate the system up. In other words, the infinite sundial would automatically shut itself down once the amount of field energy we attempt to supply exceeds a certain limit. It sounds like an automatic safe- I suspect some part of the infinite sundial is malfunctioning, so I ask Union to run the automatic diagnostic program to see. Unfortunately, we were unable to locate the problem. If we can't figure this out soon, the development of the- th Since the automatic diagnostics returned with no results, we'll have to resort to- How exactly are we doing that? Thank you, but I only have some rough idea- We'll need permission from Master Yu to access Tempos to perform manual trouble- And it all depends on what we find. Things rarely turned out as planned anyway. I have learned this slowly up- So you need permission to access Tempos? Understood. This way, Master Yu has anticipated such a request. What we know for sure now is that Madame Ling Han and Dr. Rubilia's hypothesis is largely consistent with the info- It's beyond doubt that the forbidden Hendeka County was once a testing ground of the Blackstone civilization. All facilities there were set up to support one project, the incubation capsule that Nan Yin- The dark form inside the incubation capsule keeps the data of the two most recent experiments conducted respectively on Nan Yin and the Executor. But all records before that are severely damaged beyond restoration. These experiments were designed to transform living beings into dark wretches, or something similar. However, what exactly they were trying to achieve through this is not yet clear. Another thing we are certain about is that Nan Yin left the incubation capsule as a partially developed- Is that so? And it requires massive energy for a hatchling to mature into an adult. This is probably why Nan Yin has to take the Darkness Crystamax from the ruins. The incubation capsule can produce a steady stream of hatchlings, but the energy survival of the fittest is the law of nature. Is this how the strongest... <sighs> Our best guesses, based on what we currently know. Other content is still being processed, due to the huge amount of calculation involved. Got it. Then I shall not disturb... Welcome, Miss Plotty from High. I have been informed the reason of your visit. This is our first attempt to upgrade the infinite sundial and all the- Jun Gong will spare no effort to assist you. Please feel free to name your needs. My guess is... Uh, perhaps the Omnium Maria. We need access to Tempos to examine every part. If we can locate the problem, we can focus our efforts on- We need the key to access Tempos' internal system. That's not a problem. Yun will walk you to the Tempos control room. Understood.
ready to give a report on the current investigation progress. According to Tempos' automatic diagnostic results, although we will need more time to perform a manual inspection, it's essentially... I personally would focus our attention on the Omnium Reactor. The abnormal situation we are... Ex After extensive inspections, I, the authorizer on duty, can assure you that there was no error to speak of during... Acknowledging and correcting mistakes early and redirecting your efforts is a good way to improve work efficiency. Um... If I may ask, what's the- With Clearance Level 5, the administrator of Gesthos's network system, responsible for monitoring all Omnium reactors, when you attempted to activate this Omnium reactor, I was the one in the algorithm arc who synchronized Gesthos's network with the Infinite Sun. Therefore, I deserve to be respected as much as Archon Elric. From now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. All objections are overruled. And my order is to keep your attention on factors within Dom- But our work so far has eliminated all possible causes in Domain 9. Huh. Are you suggesting an extremely unlikely mir- A miracle with a negative connotation in the- hmm. Am I seriously hearing this nonsense from a scientific researcher? Do you have- If you insist on sticking to your ways, I shall make an exception and let you sink deep- As far as I know, people from District 9 never learn from their mistakes. Let alone a half-baked underachiever like you, who has absolutely nothing to show other than several papers. Haven't your colleagues ever questioned your professional competence? Ahem. <clears throat> Dear Madame Plotty, I'm afraid you don't know Breely that well. It's a bit harsh to jump to such a conclusion based solely on some biased background information and a brief chat. Let me make it clear. This is what I think about all of you from District 9. A nondescript bunch. Don't like it? Then prove to me you are worthy. But whatever you do, nothing can erase the shameful history of District 9 being captured by the heirs of Ida and losing a vast amount of confidential information. That included some of my hard work. Want to hear how your esteemed Archon Elric pleaded with me to redevelop the program for you? Huh? Archon Elric is actually your equal in rank. In fact, the heirs of Ida managed to invade because incompetent executors like you completely failed in their duties. So dutifully fulfill your obligations, Brevi's bodyguard, henchwoman, or whatever you are, young lady. Just do your job and keep the bark down. <laughs> Better watch out, your highness. I bite like a rabid raccoon. Yanunu and Plolo are having a nice conversation. Glad to see their friendship blossom. Excuse me. Um, mask. Right. Alright. Since Plolo has given her word, I may need your help, Yanunu. All the abyss currents across the domain have been closed before serious damage can be- The alert level in the Aquaville ruin is at its highest. Note the development of the third generation timestamp system is unable to progress due to the issue- I understand. Executor and Miss Shirley. Good. I want to learn more about Nanyin's seizure of the Crystamax of- Sure. At that time, Nanyin seemed to be protected by a special group of darkness when drawing energy from the Crystamax. Shrouded in a strange aura, they were much harder to deal with than the average darkness. We'd never seen anything like that before, but we needed to eliminate them before we could approach Nanyin. Exactly. This bunch was completely different from all the darkness be they were not like the dark wretches Nanyin once manipulated either. This is likely a new power Nanyin has acquired after seizing the Crystamax. 
Some Ignisville domain guards recently reported a similar sighting of the darkness. With unprecedented, this could mean that Nanyin may still be in Ig. We must prepare ourselves in response to the recent encounters with- I hope you can travel to Ignisville with Ming Jing to address this matter. I understand. Executor and Miss Shirley, we are counting on you.
Embarrassment in front of Lord Ming Jing. <laughs> Move your hand. Let me see your wound. Eh, no big deal. I just got nicked by the darkness and my sis went all out. Besides, Lord Ming Jing and the Executor came to our aid just in time. Don't be childish. Show me you're not. Your wound is not going away. Move your hand. Uh, just a small cut. Don't make a scene. Your wounds! You're lucky I had some first aid. Uh, thank you, Miss Shirley. You can play top- I'm totally fine. My invincible sister came from heaven to my rescue. Stop the nonsense. To the Ouch! You asked for it. You guys are so cl- <laughs> Lord Mingjing, you must be here- The mess Nanyin cost. This type of dark- I know. We've never encountered anything like this before. Engaging them in a fight, the Domain Guards in Aquaville need to ready themselves. We've learned a lot- We should be the ones thinking you. We need to report this to Lady Juchwe. Please- How's Miss Lan doing? The doctors advised her to rest more, but I bet she's been out and- I'll make sure to pass on your greetings after reporting this darkness- Alright. We won't delay you- Same old? Race? Oh, come on, sis. Are you actually worried about being outrun by someone who's injured? Wrong, Jin! Don't let me catch you! Uh, they seem to have a bit of banter together all the time. Strong family ties. Rong Jin is definitely the more mature one between the two. 
Or maybe it's precisely in front of his sister that he can be a- Oh? What? <sighs> I get it. The only difference is, I actually love to mess with my brother. For instance, I used to pour lots of lemon juice into the orange soda before- <laughs> he Well, he was very strict with me, and I needed revenge some- Looking back, however, my brother took really good care of- But you are all grown up now, Shirley. You are now a capable young- But- I'm sure he's very proud of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bleep bleep. You two- We were just finishing up. Lolo and I have made some progress on the investigation. Please- Sure. We'll be there. All right. We shall part ways here. I'll- Thank <laughs> you.